Cooking in Quarantine, brought to you by Standards and Brunswick. We're moving right back to our bowl where we already have cleaned salmon. We have our mixture of sauteed garlic with our onions and everything. And then we're going to add cassava, which really brings a nice twist and a complete meal to this dish, making it quick, easy. A little bit of breadcrumbs, one egg, and a little bit of mayo. We mix this in really nicely. You want to add a little bit of salt to your taste. And so once it's really nice and combined, we make them into a little bit of scoops. You take a third cup, measuring cup, scoop it out, make sure your hands are washed and clean, and then you scoop it. Comes out really nice and easy. If you need to, you can shape it and put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour so it chills nicely. You're starting with again with a little bit of oil. And to this, the trick to this to get it to brown quickly is to add a little bit of margarine in the pan. So that's going to give us the ability to get this nice and brown quickly. And then, as I said, you can dust it lightly with a little bit of flour or cornmeal. Whichever you have in the pantry to make life easy for you. Turn it over. Notice that the dusting is really light. We're not putting too much. And once our pan is on medium high and we're starting to see the butter melting and giving us a little bit of a brown, see that nice little smoke coming off? You then put your cakes in the pan so that you get a really nice golden brown. And the trick is you can actually see a little bit of this changing of color on the bottom. Where the, where the base of the salmon cake is going to get a light brown. And you can finish it in the oven for about five minutes, 350 degrees, to make sure that it's warmed right through. To that, just to make again a little bit of interest, I made a quick watermelon salsa. So we've taken our watermelon, cut it up into small pieces. And to give a little color, we're going to add a little bit of diced cucumber and also a little bit of fresh mint. So you have a really clean, wonderful flavor going on. You mix this up, those lovely colors, and it has a really fresh taste to it. So we have our finished product, which is a salmon cake with cassava, so it's a one-pot approach, a really nice fresh clean watermelon salad, and mustard aioli. Enjoy. Cooking in Quarantine, brought to you by Standards and Brunswick.